Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be navigating some common uh, software applications here. We're using the Microsoft Office Suite. So since we're in PowerPoint, that's where we're going to start. Uh, as you look around, you can see we have the tabs across the top. And these are pretty consistent, like I've said, between all of the products here. So Home tab has some commonly used items up here. Anytime you're going to insert something, it'll probably be under the Insert tab. If you want to change the design of something, again, that will be, they've, they've named these pretty well. So anything related to your slideshow, anything related to animations, you'll find those here. As we come down to the bottom of the screen, you can see we have uh, a navigation. shows us which slide we're on. We're currently on slide number two of nine. Um, it's right now looking for some spelling errors. And when it's done, it will tell me whether or not it's found any throughout the document. Here in the bottom of my status bar, I have the notes. I can pull up if I have speaker's notes. I can click in here to add those. I don't have any. Let's just eliminate that. We're currently in normal view. Normal view for PowerPoint is the thumbnails along the left-hand side and the slide here in our main area. We can switch to some different views. This one is the slide sorter view. And when I click on this, you can see each of the slides. And I can move those around pretty readily. We'll move that back so I'm not going to create a mess for myself later. I have a reading view where I can just look at just the slide without all the extraneous stuff there. Um, I'll have to get back out of this view. Let's go back to slide sorter. I can go into presentation or the slideshow view here. Uh, down the corner, I can change the zoom on my sides of my slides. I can either use the slider to move left and right, or I can use the uh, buttons there, the, the plus and minus. I can go to some default sizes, or I could just zoom to fit the current slide in the window, and it'll, it'll go to a standard setting for me here. One other thing I can do along the bottom of my status bar is I can right-click, and I can see what sorts of things I'm seeing down here. So if there's any of these things that pop up, I can decide with the check mark, yes, I want to see those, or, or no, I don't. Let's move over to Microsoft Word. Again, we have the, the File button or the file tab, which takes us backstage. We have the home, the insert. If we're gonna put anything in, we insert it. The design has to do with the design of the page. Uh, anything to do with our references. Microsoft Word will also let you automate mailings. Reviewing lets you do things like your spelling and grammar, your thesaurus, all those sorts of things. You can put comments in them, and we will cover those later. Microsoft Excel, let's pull this one open. Uh, in Microsoft Excel, again, we have the same tabs. We have the same status bar. Down here, the difference is that we have different uh, tabs that we can look at. We can add different sheets. Again, we have different views. We can do the page layout, page break, zooming in and out. So it's pretty standard throughout uh, the Microsoft products that we're able to find our way around here. Let's go back into Microsoft Word. Uh, I the other friend we have here is the right click. With the right click, it brings up a menu which is contextually tied to where we're at. So if I right click on this picture, it gives me some different picture options. Uh, so in addition to right clicking, another way to find uh, help for a particular item in here is a contextual menu. Now when I click on a picture or a graphic, it opens up what are called contextual menus up here and I have different options that did not appear when I wasn't clicked on that so I click out of here that disappears but while I'm here here's my formatting options that I have for that for that particular thing likewise on a table if I click on a table these contextual menus of table tools come in so I can go to the design where I can change the way it looks I can go to the layout where I can do some different things with putting in uh, boxes and doing some things with lining how the text sits in those. Okay, next up we are going to be using the ruler to help us edit a document. A lot of times when it default starts up it will not have the ruler showing. So we're going to be using the view tab because we want to view something. In this case it's the ruler. I click on the ruler it's going to bring this up and depending upon where my mouse is you can see that I have about a one inch margin here on the left hand side an inch on the uh, right hand side and the rest of the space here is dedicated to where I'm going to be able to do my typing. When I click here 
you can see I have my tab marks that are showing up. So this is my first line indent, and this is where, excuse me, there we go, where my left indent and my hanging indent both go to. If I come down to my table, you can see it changes my uh, ruler right here. I now have two separate sets of boxes here for each of the columns that I have set up. So the ruler helps me kind of figure out where I'm at and allows me to change some things. And I can, you see, as I move this over, it's going to be changing the size of my boxes. Control Z to fix that. Our next skill involves uh, the use of the navigation pane. So if you come down here to the bottom left corner, you can see that it's telling you how many pages there are. If we click on this, this opens up our navigation pane. This allows us to get through a document fairly quickly. Uh, it's really handy when you've got the big documents. So this is off of our headings. You can see we can see the pages here. So if I want to just go straight to the third page, if there was a particular chart or table that I knew was in a document, I could look at it this way and go straight to it by clicking on that for the navigation pane. We're also supposed to show you how to navigate through a document using the scroll bars. I think you know probably how to do this already using the scroll bars to go up and down or the only document I have that's big enough here to go side to side is my Excel document that I can go back and forth on. And the last skill for this particular standard is going to be looking at our zoom options. So we're going to go into view because that's how we look at it. In our zoom group we have some options. You can change you zoom in here to different percentages. You can see that's going to look quite a bit bigger. I can go back and I can just grab 100%. I can make it so I can see multiple pages at the same time. Sometimes you might like to see something like that. I prefer one page or if you want to make sure that you're able to read this because this is a little bit tiny for you click on page width and it will show you the actual width of your page. So if you're not happy with the way that looks, go ahead and go into your view tab and hit zoom. And we are done with this standard.